Hi guys, so time for another Fika and gun review, but I don't have any Fika bröd, also known as cinnamon buns. So I have uh, this and snooze. So I did something all idiots, idiots do sooner or later. I ordered an optic from China. There we go, snooze. It's a copy of an uh, MRO 3 uh, red dot. Looks like this. And it's actually a really good copy. You get it in this uh, nice plastic box with some uh, foam furniture. Could probably use this for something else. It has a, a good lock for it. And you get uh, an Allen key, small microfiber cloth, uh, some kind of quick detach mount that seems sturdy for like an AR-15 height and a low, low mount as well. It's silly but it seems to be well made but uh, most likely the battery is gonna go immediately and the electronics gonna be shit. I can see the dot, probably not going to be able to use this with night vision, but I can see a really faint dot on the night vision setting. I really have to, really have to look for it to see it. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm not bothered because uh, it wasn't that expensive, I don't remember how much I paid for it. Uh, there were a lot of cheaper ones, but I thought why not, it looks cool. Uh, hopefully it's not uh, airsoft grade, but I'm gonna put it on uh, on this uh, 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 1022 Magpul rail here and see how that works. <laughs> because even though it's a cheap China knockoff, should stand up to 22 long rifle recoil. <laughs> we'll see about that. Uh, anyway, so nice, nice packaging and uh, the battery compartment has an o-ring seal and it was pretty tight to get it in there. Uh, it's probably not gonna go tra gonna track or whatever when you if you were to try that, but this is not a long range scope, so I'm not gonna go fiddle around with the turrets. I'm gonna shoot this for 50 meters and then just leave it there. <coughs> so yeah. We'll see how this works. I, uh, I just got this today. And also, today is a nice day in Sweden because uh, the Minister of Interior, Anders Ygeman, got fired. Well, not fired, but he's not, no longer the Minister of Interior. And that's a good thing because he's an asshole when it comes to gun politics. Uh, and an asshole in general. But uh, the socialists really like him because, well, he's their asshole. And he's the according to them at least, the most competent asshole, which says a lot about the socialists in Sweden. So anyway, that's a, on a completely different topic, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some beers, beers after this <laughs> to celebrate that. Anyway, so let's cut here and I'll uh, put this on the 1022 and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so it's on and uh, what I noticed was that uh, the four screws that holds the mount to the optic, or the red dot, is very loose. So, uh, come on stupid mic, there we go. Anyway, so they're very loose, so I put some Loctite on them and I fastened them with the, uh, no, not that, with this, an ordinary screwdriver. Anyway, uh, don't over tighten them too much because uh, these are not very good quality screws so you will strip them and uh, yeah that's not fun. Same with these on the side, uh, not sure how, well it feels sturdy but uh, I almost started stripping them so uh, be careful how, how hard you tighten them, it's easy to over tighten them but I gotta say looks cool <laughs> uh, one, one note, uh, you will need a higher chic riser that comes with the stock for this or a stock with a higher chic comb 
Uh, other than that, looks nice. Bit of a shin weld if you want to look for it. If I look for it like this, uh, I get a perfect sight line with the diopter. But I have to go a bit higher for the red dot. But that's not a problem, I'll just swap this. And in the, in the storage compartment here, I put two extra CR batteries for this because I'm guessing I'm going to need it and also the cleaning cloth that came with this because you always need that and uh, this seems to be quite watertight it has o-rings and whatever so this should be fine and I left the batteries in their uh, plastic uh, uh, well the packaging they came in so they won't rattle around so anyway let's talk about this rifle what I did do with this rifle is polish the internals so it, it, don't, it doesn't sound that much when I do now it's very dirty I haven't cleaned this for, since forever and I changed uh, the bolt uh, stop here uh, for uh, I think it was some kind of plastic or well something that doesn't sound as much anyway so basically the, the only thing that's, uh, uh, that you hear when you shoot this is uh, with a suppressor is uh, the spring. Not sure what I should do about the spring because it's oiled and uh, everything but uh, spring is gonna spring I guess. <sighs> Other than that uh, it's quite nice and now it, I have some kind of cheap China optic on it as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out and see if it holds up to anything. I'm gonna guess it doesn't uh, and uh, if it doesn't well I'm just gonna throw it away because it wasn't expensive and it looks kind of cool so I'm gonna try it so that's probably enough about that and now to go drink some beer and celebrate Anders Ygeman being without a job well he's not without a job I'm gonna pretend he is without a job because he doesn't deserve one have a nice day, everyone.